morning we were having a whole bunch of gravel dropped off by um, a company called Sosa Ready Mix. They're out of Mount Shasta because there are a few areas in the park that we rent out as RV spaces and they get rented out so often that the grass is having a hard time to grow. So we're just going to lay down some gravel and that way people are not camping in the mud and that way they could use a camp mat. having the, the truck driver follow me to the back of the park to show him where to drop it off. This dude's a pro. Got them? Yep. So we just tiny sewed the fabric and then we just put wooden dowels on them because we have so many curtains to sew. Cabins, probably over a hundred curtains we got to do. <laughs> I think that's for the other. Yeah, so it's going to be for there. Let's see. This is coming out or yeah. for? Of it. We're almost in the middle of May and this morning it started snowing for a little while. Um, last year we had a little bit of a rodent problem so recently we got two little cats and we put them in a cage and they got to stay there for about a month until they get accustomed to the area. But last night Jorge told us that what sounded like a mountain lion was trying to break into the cat enclosure. So they're probably freaking scared to all hell, but today we're going to move them a little closer and hopefully the mountain lion won't come back. Hi. Yeah, uh, they were meowing a lot. Right now? Well, we had to stick them in their box yeah. to move it, so. But we fixed it. So this is the new McLeod cat house. Let me look inside. This is Mija. So we have a little heater for them. Did he put skylights in? I oh, just wait. noticed that. Look. It's going to be cold tonight. So we put a tarp over. We put the plywood here to stop the mountain lion. And Jorge's going to get a stun gun. <laughs> but the, the cats were making noise or the animal trying to eat them was making a noise? The <laughs> cats with the... I, I, I only listen to this with the kites, the cats. thing we're doing is we're cutting rings into the dirt around all the fire pits and then we're going to put some gravel down. Nice. This makes everything so much neater. So since I put the truck camper on the flatbed, when we were traveling on the terrible California freeways, the truck did, uh, the camper did shift a little on the flatbed. So we're using 
the tractor to push it into position and then I'm building some angle iron brackets to hold it in place but uh, this just makes it easier so we have to go maybe one uh, one inch starting to snow again it's half snow half hail it's kind of like dipping dots that they have at the mall except they're all white can you believe it's freaking snowing again okay. look outside oh my god <laughs> 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 this is nuts. It's meant to be summer. Oh my god. This is crazy. Wow. Okay, come on. What are you doing? I'm going to show George about the bin. And what about the cats? The cats are good. Okay. What about the bear? <laughs> 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 and John just came to tell us the bears are coming out. They're coming there by then. So don't leave your pens. Put your pens away. Okay. And the cat food we must seal and close here. So we think a bear has been trying to attack the cats at night because the chicken wire has been pushed in. So we put this plywood here. But we heard that they want to actually get the cat food, not the cat. So we're going to take the cat food out at night. They'll have to start till the morning. <laughs> Because seriously, they shit more than their body weight on a daily basis. No more food for you. Even though they're still skinny. That's good. Got a heater in there. They got a house. They have an upstairs. They have a middle level and they have a downstairs where they go to the bathroom. Oh, the, the, the tent? Yes, yes. Where's that heater? Right there. Is the tent? Still in the tent? Yes. Okay. And which one? The 34. The wife wants to walk in the snow to go get a heater out of one of the glamping tents. So now she's walking in the snow in the rain. Look at Daniel. Oh my God. Look like... What is wrong with this? This picture is just so wrong. So now it's fully snowing. Look at this shit. It's crazy. It's meant to be summer. the heater so we can do a workout because it, it kind of snowed and iced last night I mean look at this today's the 10th of, uh, of May and I'm walking in ice but one of the things that uh, is different from us well as an RV park owner we continue to put money into the park as we get income so I'm gonna show you a few things that we've done this season uh, so basically Kenny sanded this whole well he pulled the carpet up sanded the whole floor Restained it. I mean look how awesome that is compared to nasty carpet and then upstairs the loft also had Some nasty carpet 
So we ripped out all the carpet and then Kenny put down some vinyl floor tile, which just makes it so much cleaner and neater looking. And then all the cabins, we've ripped out the nasty full-size futons and we put in some very comfortable memory foam mattresses. So they're awesome. So we're making big improvements, we're making little improvements, and the guests definitely notice it. The ones that come every year multiple times, either they stay in the cabins or RV spaces, they all comment um, how they like the improvements we're making. And to us, the little changes don't seem to make that big a difference, but if somebody hasn't been here in a few months, they definitely notice the changes. And then for the first time, we stayed open all winter, and a lot of the cabin hot water heaters were outside the buildings and they actually froze and burst. So Kenny has put all the hot water heaters on the inside this, uh, this time. And we're just trying to bulletproof the property for, uh, for next winter. So it just runs a lot smoother. We're just uh, seeing how the cats did this morning. Hi, Lucky. How are you? Hi, Misha. Me and Jorge are just going to the front to show the Sosa Ready Mix driver where to bring the truck. Just spreading the gravel nice and neat, making it look pretty. I'm trying to get everything ready for Memorial Weekend, which is coming up in about three weeks. Yeah, that looks awesome. So look how cool this is now, where these spots were pretty much mud and slush after the rain and snow. Now we put little areas where people can put their RVs to park. We've even put areas where people can put their rugs out and there's still a little bit of grass. So the reason why we're making those brackets is because um, now that the camper's sitting on a flatbed versus a regular truck bed, it does move slightly, a couple inches here and there. So we're going to drill, we're going to drill three holes into the diamond plate and put some uh, three bolts and nuts underneath. And that way, when we take the camper off, we can slide this open or actually take the whole thing off. When the camper's in position, we can push it there, put the three nuts and bolts to hold it in place. And then this one will go all the way to the back right here. And we'll do uh, two on each side. And what I love about this little project, we're using recycled metal because the price of metal these days has gone through the frickin' roof. So any metal we find uh, on the property that we can use and repurpose, we do it often. It's the 10th, it's the 10th of May and look at the weather, it's snowing. It just started snowing again. We went to Mount Shasta to run some errands. It's crazy. Oh, we're meant to be in flip-flops and tank tops and shorts at this time of the month is snowing. Today I'm going to start installing the boxes on the flatbed. One of the issues I'm running into is these are the filler necks for the two different tanks. I've got two diesel tanks. So um, I've got to cut out voids in the box. So basically I'm going to have to open the box. I'm going to open the box to fill my tank, which is kind of a good security feature. Not ideal, but I'm going to make it work. So I've already, I've already squared off my lines and I've made a nice little square. So 
So I've installed these brackets. I've drilled into the aluminum flatbed. I've just put them loose. I've screwed them thumb tight, but I've left them loose because I've still got to raise the camper in order to put this box over the fill neck because I have the, you know, because I have my hole under there and it has to go over the, the fuel filler neck. And then right here, I just put the other bracket. And then I got to do one on each side. Uh, I mean, the, the other side, I got to do one front and one back, just like this side. So now I'm raising the truck off the flat bed in order to put the boxes in. And I use a, a drill. And then I just raise each corner little by little till it actually lifts off the flatbed. I recently purchased this app and a device that I put in the camper and it tells me how level the camper is. It's called Level Mate Pro. And um, as I'm raising the camper, I got to make sure it's level because there's always a chance, you know, it's four little stilts on a big 4,000 pound camper. We want to make sure it's level as we're going up and going down versus so the level mate pro will tell me uh how much i have to raise it like here it says i've got to raise the back left corner by one and a half inches and i'll go by there the back this is the back portion which i've cut a hole out which will line up with that because then we can open up that little vent inside the camper to access the back of the the aluminum box I cut out a square over there for the filler neck. So I've mounted the box to the flatbed and I've cut these channels. That way the box can slide forward and back. So that way when I'm loading the camper, it'll give me more of a gap at the back and it's not going to be such a precise fit when I'm backing in. So I've got both boxes on the one side already installed, but the bolts are just loose right now. I've cut out the notch for the gas filler on both of them and um, these are like little brackets I built to stop the camper from sliding sideways which I'm leaving everything loose right now then I'm going to lower the camper once it's lowered onto the bed and the truck's holding the camper up when the jacks are lifted up then I'll push the boxes and I'll push the brackets over here into position snug against the, the camper and I'll snug everything up and then tomorrow I'm going to do the other side because it's getting late. 7.25, give me one second. Pardon me? I said just give me one second. Sure. And, and what is the uh, security card? 252. 252. And then uh, Terry, you're always in the same space, in one, right? Space number one, yes. yeah. Yes, okay. Looks like we're back in action. Today is rocking. I'm gonna go check out Tammy by the office because there are a lot of people checking in. Hi. 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 What are you guys messing around? <laughs> We're busy, busy, busy. Tammy's pissed at the ice guy because he hasn't showed up with ice yet. Hi Marty, this is Tammy, Warren's wife at McLeod RV Park. I've been expecting you for the last three weeks and uh, I have about 70 people in my RV Park all asking for ice. So can you please check in with us? I know you're really, really busy, but I really need some ice. So please give us a call back. So I've given Warren a job. He needs to go to each space and uh, measure it and make sure that everybody uh, can get into the space. Hi, it's all good. Make sure everyone can get into the space. And uh, what else was? I'm going to put it on the, on the booking system that we use. That way when people go online to book, uh, there'll be a good written description and two to four photos of each space. It's going to be easy for people to make reservations online. Look how nice the spots look with the uh, gravel. Beautiful. A fish in the creek at the back. We bought a, some equipment of Amazon and Jorge's a chef, so this is what he's making. Wow. Jeez, that looks good, man. Yeah. Flour. Flour. Oh, and butter and garlic. Butter and garlic nice. and 
salt and pepper. Is this what you're doing? All right, all right, I'm out. I just want to try a little piece. It looks amazing. Looks you did great. so good. Now you see, now she's getting wow. home. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Wow. I mean, look, at, look at the presentation. I know. I don't and this stuff, I love this stuff. It. The first time you did this. And you, you cleaned it so well. Everything. Everything. You did, caught it, wow. cleaned it, Everything. cooked it. Wow. How is it? Is it a little spicy? Excellent. Spicy. Penny mm. better not have eaten it off. <laughs> So good. I'm not sharing with him. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember, my husband puts on these crazy deals. And in order to get notified, you need to have liked and subscribed. Thank you.